Hey guys, it's Lori. So, do you need something and you need it really quickly? I, I gotta tell you, I need something really quickly. Um, and you don't know what to do. You've prayed about it. You've done your thing, you know. Um, and it's not coming to pass. Well, there is a way to... <clears throat> immediately boost your manifestations but you have to be you have to be in that mindset you have to believe that you can do this and you know many times when we need something very quickly what happens is we go into um negative mode we go into our worldly thinking we go into it just it can't happen i mean i've exhausted all my all my options i can't do anything and maybe you have of this world but let's not forget who we are, okay? Um, first and foremost, I want you to remember that God is all-powerful, okay? We're dealing right now, and I'll do another video on this, but we're dealing right now with somebody who's trying to do some black magic. I don't know if it's hoodoo, voodoo, whatever, but it's black on us. And if you're unprotected, I'm seeing it happen, you know, because my son, unfortunately, isn't in... I don't want to call him an agnostic because he's not. He claims to be a believer. He knows there's a God, but he's in a place where he's like, okay, I know God is real, but he hasn't come to really know God yet. And if that's you, <clears throat> you're in a vulnerable spot because if somebody zaps you, you don't really have that protection because you're not really walking in that faith. So first and foremost, I want you to keep telling yourself, God is real. God is all powerful. The blood of Jesus is more powerful than any other blood. You can kill as many cats as you want. By the way, I'm an animal lover. If I find out you killed a cat, I'm going to be very upset. Or any kind of animal, a chicken, uh, whatever. I know they do all kinds of rituals. Please don't kill animals, okay? We don't need any kind of blood sacrifice anymore, okay? Anyway, just don't kill animals. Just don't, don't kill animals, okay? Don't kill animals, don't. We're helpless and we're lovable and we'll do whatever you want us to do. Okay, so on a really serious note, um, there is a way. So just <clears throat> walk in faith. First of all, we need to be in gratitude. Faith, we have to believe it, believe that it can happen and forgiveness we have to walk in forgiveness and it's really hard if somebody's shooting you dark energy or if you know you see somebody who <clears throat> is evil to the core and they seem to be getting whatever they want okay so let's put all that aside get it out of your mind raise your vibration up here it is up 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 just kind of let it sit there take a few deep breaths let it sit there feel that do you feel push any negative away and you can really push it okay do that until you feel lifted and protected okay so while you're lifting up breathe in God's love push out any negative Lift up, 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 physically. Like lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Push out the negative and envision a shield of protection. Okay? Next, this is going to sound really kind of silly and maybe too simple, but it works. Okay? Every single time I've done this, it works. <clears throat> and remember, anything we do, we can do instantaneously. There is nothing that is energetically that cannot be done instantaneously. The only time it takes time is if your blocks are there and we got to remove those. That's why we get in that mindset. Please be in forgiveness too. You don't want to be putting anything negative out there, even if somebody has done it to you. Sometimes, now just let me just put a side note here. Sometimes there are things that are meant to happen at a different time, and you'll know later. But 
if you need something, if, if there's a deadline, if you, and if you need it in an hour, if you need it in a day, a week, five minutes, no, I don't want to say five minutes. Let's give it a little more time than that. An hour or two. You can do it. You can do this. Okay. Remember that God created the universe with a word. Okay. So what you want to say, get, get up there, get high in your vibration. And now in that energy, close your eyes. I call to myself the money needed and the perfect apartment for myself and my family. Lord God, I'm asking you through the power of Jesus Christ. I call to myself that perfect apartment. And then just look, what, what's, in your, what's in your spiritual field with your eyes closed? And just grab it. And you have your spiritual toolbox here and open and ready to go and just put it in there. You don't need to know what it is. Is it a piece of paper? Is it a receipt? Is it a key? Is, is it a color? You don't have to stop now just because I am. Stop when you feel that you've grabbed everything that you need. It may be one or two things. It may be 10 things. You may be see, seeing a bunch of things flying by. When you know, ask. Say, Lord, show me when it's done, when it's enough. And then close your spiritual toolbox and know that you, your Whatever it is that you've asked for is ready and waiting for you. It's just a matter of your vibration and that vibration to come together. Okay. And that could happen instantaneously. That could happen in a week, in a day, in two hours, whatever it is. Now the tricky part, especially if you need it now, right? You've got your spiritual toolbox. Let it go. Thank you so much for answering that. I am so grateful. Know that you've got an answer. Because you know what? Think about it. If you've got to meet a deadline, that deadline's going to come and go whether you've got what you need or not. So why live and worry before that? Just know. Thanks. Thank you very much for answering me. I appreciate it. I so look forward to this change. I am living in such gratitude. If there is any unforgiveness in me, please take it. Take it from me. I forgive all who have wronged me. Know that it's going to happen. Be excited for it to happen. And pay attention, okay? Don't, I don't want you to be looking for signs and clues and waiting for something, okay? I want you to know that this, it cannot not work, okay? So go by your intuition and know that you're going to act on whatever you're drawn to. This is why you want to be in forgiveness, belief, and faith, okay? You don't want to be in bitterness because you're going to be shown things that aren't real, all right? Keep your eyes, keep your spiritual eyes open, your discernment up, and happy manifesting. I'll talk to you guys soon.